Hey students, welcome to the spring 2024 semester and your introduction to ag economics. Now in this video, I wanted to go over the course layout for you to kind of introduce the semester. Uh, we were kind of planning a face-to-face -face this week on our start of school, but with the weather, decided to do this all online. And in the syllabus, it'll lay out the times that we are going to be face-to-face. -face. This is a hybrid class, so we will have times that we are face-to-face -face for Tuesday and Thursday. Day, and then we'll have times where we're completely online. In this video, I wanted to go over the syllabus and some of the layout of the course. All right, so when you get into your Blackboard section, the first thing you're going to see, let me back up, is you are going to see uh, a list of everything by the week. Now, you can see all of these other weeks are hidden because they're not ready to be released yet. Uh, as far as releasing content, by at least Tuesday, at the start of our class, the 11 o'clock time on Tuesday, I will release the week and that will have all the videos, discussions, homework if it applies that week that you have as an assignment, all listed in each week. So the only thing you can see now is week one, syllabus and welcome. So if I open that up, this is what you will see. And typically every week will be the same setup. Now we'll go through here and the first is the syllabus. I've also got an introductory video Hi, welcome to the that you can play full screen if you would like and it really is an introduction to the course as well as well as some content for the week. So you want to make sure that you watch that. This is called a light board. I make my videos this way so you'll be able to see everything there um, in detail like I was writing on the board in class. So that is a video for this week. You want to make sure that you look at it. Uh, take notes off these videos too. They're really designed for you to watch me give the lecture, talk about content, pause it, and I'm writing on the board, so you might wanna write your notes that way. It's a great way for you to kind of keep notes of what we're doing in the topics, and each week we'll include one or more of these type videos. All right, let's look at the syllabus. So I'm gonna open the syllabus up, and here it is. And so let me uh, zoom in a bit on the syllabus. And so you're gonna go through this. In the syllabus, you're gonna see a couple of things. First of all, again, this is a hybrid format class. We've got a lot of weeks where we're completely online. Some weeks we're face-to-face, -face, so you wanna look at that. Uh, you'll also see that I've done something most professors probably don't do, but I've provided you my cell. The best way to get a hold of me is to call me or text me if you need something, if you're in a bind. That's the best way. Email is another approach, but I get a lot of emails, and so the best approach for you is to do is for uh, the use my cell there. It's meant to help you out if you need something, and I'll try to respond if I can, if I'm open, and if your question is specific, so be specific about what you need. A uh, couple things I'll go over here in a second that might eliminate some questions. You're going to go through here and see student learner outcomes, marketable skills that relate. The grading will be something here that's important. Now on the grades, uh, the, the homework and, and other assignments will only be taken the day they're due. So if you miss an assignment and say, hey, text me, I want to try to submit that. I had this thing happen to me. Uh, don't worry about it because I've got it written in here. I really want to, to make this hardcore. Now, if you've got prearranged things and you check with me beforehand, then I'll work with you there and we can take a look at that. Uh, exams are all simple. There are 100 points. Uh, classes quizzes, I should say discussion boards, and um, uh, and homeworks will all add together and be worth uh, at least 100 points to your grade. So they're worth more than a test. Make sure you take care of those. The test, there'll be three of them. They're worth 100 points each. That comes out to be about 300 points. And then, of course, the final exam is 100 as well. It's comprehensive, and it runs all the way through the whole semester. All right, let's see, as we move through, you can see the grading course schedule is where we wanna focus. So week one is about the syllabus and the basic terms, uh, basic economic terms, which is the video. I've also got a discussion this week. We'll talk about those in a second. Week two is gonna be chapter one, and it's a text PDF chapter that I provide for you now out of a book I wrote, so I'm giving you all of those. You don't have to buy anything, and you'll go through there. I've also got some videos about understanding demand and indifference. Uh, next week will be ch week three, chapter two, then chapter three, um, and then finally uh, in week five, you can see it's highlighted here and it says in class. Um, that's February 13 and 15. That's when we'll have our first face-to-face. -face. What we're going to do, the way I've organized it, that's to be where we will review 
review the whole section of the first part of the class. Really, we're reviewing, so for exam one. So in week six, that's when exam one will hit. Now back on the content for the week, uh, you can see that each week is laid out in its own folder. When you get down to exam one, it's also listed like a folder. So week five is gonna be our review time. Week six is gonna be the exam. And then we'll also get into input analysis. And so there'll be two things in that week six open that you can see how that will work right there. Now going back to the syllabus, moving through, you're gonna have week six, which is that input use. And we'll go through week five, I mean week seven, week eight. Spring break kind of interrupts that window, makes it a little longer. Uh, week nine and then week 10 will be a little bit content about the markets. It'll be face to face again. That's going to be 326 and we'll also review for exam two. So exam two hits you in week 11. Uh, we'll also in that week move uh, forward in some other stuff about futures, contracts and trading and speculators. Now between week two you're gonna take the exam in a, a week 11, sorry, exam two, uh, and then we get content. Kind of, kind of have to hurry there, and so we've got some uh, content that week 12, this will all be online. And then right back, three weeks later, I guess, is going to be another in class. We'll do more of this hedging in futures work, and then you'll end up with exam three. Uh, review for exam three. Exam three hits you in week 14. Then week 15, we kind of wrap up and uh, summarize the semester and then your finals begin there. Um, so that is the summary of the course. All right, so hopefully this video helps you see how the course is organized. Uh, again, week one is your focus. There is a discussion listed right here. Make sure you pick that and fill out the information there and respond to it. Now, when is everything due? Everything in our class is due by Friday at noon. So we're gonna start off on Tuesday. So you've got Tuesday to look at it, Wednesday to look at it, Thursday to look at it. You've got those windows. And then Friday by noon, you gotta wrap up and submit that. You could submit those on Tuesday. Uh, the discussion or any homeworks that are due. All homeworks and discussions will all be done right here online. So you want to make sure you look at that. All right. So hopefully this helps kind of see the summary of the week uh, of the content of the whole course, as well as the summary of week one. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.